Today I'm gonna to show you how to make the perfect dessert for Easter or Christmas or anytime you feel like chocolate and coconut together. This is a chocolate coconut cake roll. It's a chocolate cake with a coconut whipped cream filling. It's covered in chocolate ganache and toasted coconut. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. It's Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm showing you another cake roll recipe. Cake rolls are one of the most popular kinds of dessert on my site. I kind of was known as the cake roll queen back a few years ago. I was making them every other month it seemed like. And this is one of my favorite versions. It's a chocolate coconut cake, co <laughs> chocolate coconut cake roll. Say that five times fast. Anyway, this is a chocolate sponge cake. It's different than a regular cake. It's a little bit flatter and a little bit denser. Um, and you roll it while it's hot. And then when it's cooled, you unroll it and fill it with whipped cream. And you can top it however you want. I have so many different versions on my site. But today, it's chocolate cake with uh, coconut whipped cream filling. You're not gonna wanna miss this. It's so delicious. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. The first thing we're gonna do is make the cake for the cake roll. Um, a couple really, really important things about making cake roll cakes. One, beat the eggs for a really long time. You're gonna to wanna to beat these for the full five minutes. Um, that beat, that fluffiness that the, of the air that gets into the eggs is what gives this cake its spongy texture. Once you have your three large eggs nice and frothy and whipped, you're gonna mix in three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. Mix that until it's smooth, and then add one quarter of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two teaspoons of cold brewed coffee or water, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. Mix that until it's nice and smooth. Now I'm using a cake roll pan, which is 10 by 15 inches with one inch sides. Um, you'll need a cake roll pan to make this recipe. So go ahead, I dropped a link to Amazon down below. All right, you're gonna bake that in the oven. It's gonna take 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and you know that it's done when you're, when you, if you touch the cake and it bounces back. Um, it, there's a very fine line between underdone and overbaked. So you just make sure you watch it. As soon as it bounces back when it's touched um, and it's not wet looking anymore, then it's done. Now, the secret to a cake roll is roll it while it's hot. Let's all say it together, roll it while it's hot, right? We're gonna sing it. So what I'm gonna do is while the cake's baking, I'm going to spread out a clean kitchen towel on my counter and cover it with powdered sugar so that the cake doesn't stick to it. And as soon as it comes out of the oven, I'm gonna flip it over on that powdered sugar. Beware, yes, the powdered sugar will fly everywhere, um, but it's worth it. And then I'm going to roll the cake up in the towel and that will allow it to cool in a rolled shape so that when we unroll it, we can fill it and re-roll it and it hopefully won't crack. Now, what happens if your cake cracks? Don't worry, this happens sometimes, I swear. I make cake rolls all the time and still I have problems with them cracking sometimes. I use the same recipe and it'll crack. Um, sometimes it has to do with humidity, if it's overbaked, if it's underbaked, there's so many different reasons why a cake roll cracks. So just try and keep it together as much as you can um, while you're re-rolling it. Um, and that way you can just frost it on the outside and no one will know that it's cracked. While the cake's cooling, I'm gonna make my filling with which is a coconut whipped cream. Super easy with heavy whipping cream and toasted coconut. Beat one cup of heavy whipping cream with four tablespoons of powdered sugar, one and a half teaspoons of coconut extract, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract until stiff peaks form. And then you're going to mix in about a cup of shredded sweetened coconut that's been toasted. Now, a secret about toasting coconut, I like to do it on top of the stove. I like to stir it constantly, don't walk away. You do not want burned coconut. That smell lasts forever in your house. So don't do this in the oven, do it on the stove top and watch it and stir it constantly. And once it's done to the like, and once it starts to turn golden and it gets nice and golden brown, immediately remove it from the pan and put it in a bowl to cool. Once the cake is cool, um, you're gonna unroll it and we're gonna fill it with that whipped cream coconut filling. And we're gonna re-roll it back up. All right, I'm gonna make a simple chocolate ganache um, with chocolate chips and heavy whipping cream to pour over the top of this cake. 
The ganache is made by adding three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream and one cup of chocolate chips to a measuring cup. And then you're going to heat that for about 60 to 90 seconds. And go ahead and pour that chocolate ganache over the top. And then you're gonna coat the top of it with more toasted coconut. So if you have any cracks, no one will see them. It's hidden by all that chocolate ganache and that extra toasted coconut. Once it's done, I like to chill it until we're ready to serve it. Um, what's great about this cake is you can freeze it. Um, you, I've, freezed, I've frozen it completely finished. You can froze, freeze just the cake portion. Um, it's great for making ahead. When you look at those slices, it's chocolatey and coconut, that whipped cream with the cake and the ganache. It's like an explosion of chocolate coconut flavor in your mouth. I know you're gonna love this. Keep watching for more dessert recipes and let me know in the comments what flavor cake roll you want me to make next.